I'm Jen, your local New York City guide, and if you enjoyed my first video on subway tips and tricks, you're going to love uncovering these 25 subway secrets. Let's go. One, you can enjoy a drink at a bar in Brooklyn in one part of an old railroad tunnel beneath Atlantic Avenue. Le Boudoir is a Marie Antoinette inspired cocktail bar with a powder room in the tunnel's old coal room. Two, the MTA used to run Miss Subway's beauty pageant for over 30 years. From 1941 to 1976, the Miss Subway's pageants were used in advertising to draw attention to ads. It was even brought back in 2014 for the New York City Subway's centennial. There's a secret train platform here in Grand Central, track 61, where presidents and rich people actually were connecting to Waldorf Astoria, including President Roosevelt. And in 1965, Andy Warhol had an underground party here on the platform. I even got to see it on a secret tour. Four, City Hall is the famous abandoned subway station often included in movies for its beautiful vaulted architecture. It opened in 1904, but was decommissioned in 1945 because its curved track was not ideal for new, longer trains. You can see the abandoned City Hall station on an annual tour, or you can see it by staying on the sixth train after its last stop at Brooklyn Bridge City Hall as it turns around to go back uptown. Five, one abandoned station, the old Myrtle Avenue subway station in Brooklyn is now a mini art gallery that entertains writers with a mass transoscope of 228 hand painted images that look like an animated cartoon. Six, before the subway system we know today, there was a prototype subway run on pneumatic power like the kind Elon Musk is working on, called the Hyperloop. In 1870, Alfred Ellie Beach launched Beach Pneumatic Transit, the city's first underground transportation. It ran only one city block, but used compressed air and water pressure to propel a single train car forward. Beach built the track in secret as a demonstration of how it could work. Though it only ran for three years, this is the system that is used to push mail through tubes today. 7. Walking on this quaint Brooklyn Heights street, you might notice one brownstone looks a little different. The MTA owns a fake brownstone at 58 Jorleman Street with blackened windows in Brooklyn Heights, which just houses electrical equipment and a secret entrance to a subway tunnel. The Knickerbocker Hotel has its own private entrance. It's not fully secret, but a lot of people walk by here and don't even notice it. It's no longer in use, but come take a look. Nine, there used to be an armored money train which transported the subway and bus fares six nights per week from 1951 to 2006 to a secret room at 370 J Street in Brooklyn. 10, if you are late to work because of subway delays, the MTA can email you a late letter, often same day explaining why there was a delay. I have been late to work many times due to train delays, but I've never tried this. 11. Only 60% of the subway is underground. 40% is above ground, often referred to as the L for elevated. 12. There is a black and white striped board in the middle of every subway station that the conductor needs to point at to show it stopped in the right place on the platform. 13. New York City subway is the busiest in the U.S. with 1.7 billion riders each year, but it is only the seventh busiest in the world with Tokyo stealing first, with almost double the number of riders. 14. Times Square is the busiest subway station in New York, with 63 million riders per year. 15. Many walk right past this without realizing that it is a real Liechtenstein, entitled Times Square Mural. Take the escalator down and walk towards the S-Train to see this energetic artwork. It features a futuristic 
bullet train and incorporates the iconic 42 image from a series of early architectural drawings of the subway. 16. The New York Pizza Connection is a very serious economic principle that states the average price of a slice of pizza matches the cost of a ride on the subway. They usually increase at the same rate. 17. In 1953, the subway began to take tokens instead of coins when the fare was raised to 15 cents since turnstiles couldn't accept two different coins. 18. Tokens were easier to steal. Some criminals would jam turnstiles and then suck out the tokens with their mouths. Workers would see this and then often put chili powder or mace in the slots to combat thieves. 19. Tokens were officially deemed obsolete in 2003 after Metro cards were widely in use. 20. A Metro card swipe is tracked and was an alibi to successfully acquit someone of a crime. 21. 44 old subway cars were dumped into the ocean off the coast of Maryland to become an artificial reef in 2008. 22. There is a New York Public Library in a subway station. Find this small library branch entrance at the Lexington Avenue, 53rd Street subway station before you need to swipe your Metro card. 23. You can ride a vintage train for the holidays. This is less of a secret, but more of a fun surprise if you're on the platform and don't know about it. Every weekend from Thanksgiving to Christmas, the MTA runs a fleet of vintage train cars and also vintage buses, which allow people to step back in time. My biggest advice is to look at the schedule ahead of time and to get there at least half an hour before the train departs for photos and to mingle with the characters dressed in era garb. 24. The owner of the IRT company had his own private subway car called the Miniola. August Belmont Jr. rode his own private car, which included a bathroom, kitchen, and wooden desk. 25. Underneath South 4th Street in Williamsburg, there is a six-track station from the old IND line that never opened, but in 2009 was transformed by 100 artists into an underground gallery. It is now sealed, but likely fully untouched. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click subscribe and the bell button and check out my other New York City videos. As always, say yes to new adventures and I'll see you next time.